With the general election just three weeks away, Director of the Pan American Health Organization's Health Emergencies Department, Dr. Sira Ugarte, is warning about an increased transmission of COVID-19. It is important also to uh, assess the situation of the transmissibility and uh, look to the health services, the availability of beds, both hospitalization beds and ICU beds. So if there is an uh, increase of the number of cases for several reasons, including the transmission that is ongoing in most of the countries in, uh, in the Caribbean and Central America, we need to emphasize that this situation may, uh, uh, the elections may provide opportunities to higher transmission. During Pajol's weekly press briefing on Wednesday, Dr. Ugarte says COVID-19 spreads more rapidly during campaign events in other countries that have held elections during the pandemic. He said that while health measures can be taken to make the process safer, government officials should take into consideration the local context, particularly when it comes to campaign activities. We've seen that the higher transmission occurs during the campaign uh, rather than in the day of the elections. So it is important to uh, avoid uh, situations where the physical distancing is uh, very difficult to, to maintain. And in that regards, to use masks all the time, and of course, use also other measures. The Bahamas is currently experiencing the worst surge of COVID-19 cases it has seen since the start of the pandemic, with more cases and deaths recorded so far in August than in any other month. While the register of voters was converted to a permanent register earlier this year in an effort to avoid registration crowds, the voting process will remain largely the same as in previous elections. Many are concerned that this will be a super spreader event, but Ugarte noted that several other countries have held elections during the pandemic. Still, he says officials should not let their guards down on election day. It is also important to have the electoral committees to organize the, the election day in a way that the persons will maintain physical distancing and reduce the transmission on the, the surfaces, for example, that the persons may, may touch. More than 30,000 voters will be eligible to vote during the advanced polls on September 9th. September 16th is Election Day. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.